Good day. Welcome to Open Buildings Designer Connect Edition session. For today's video, we would like to guide you on how to set up the project environment before you start modeling. We will be focusing on the floor manager and grid system. There are several ways to prompt the floor manager. You can select by clicking this icon. Second is it found at the bottom of the screen. And third is via typing it in the search field. The floor manager is where you can organize the floor to floor height of the building. Once it has been selected, the dialog box will open. Let us add our building and name it Farnsworth House. We will also create four level plane for this project. Floor 1, Floor 2, Floor 3, and Floor 4. We will then be changing or modifying the levels to ground floor. Lower terrace. Upper terrace. And the roof. Descriptions and data for each of the floor can also be added or modified. Lastly, click Apply and close the dialog box. The second item we need to set up is our grid. Let's proceed by clicking the icon at the bottom. The grid system will come in multiple settings. It has orthogonal, radial, and sketch. You can even have a duplicate, modify, or remove this grid, or do customized setting. For this project, we shall use the orthogonal system. And link it to our Farnsworth house, which is what we have set up in the floor manager. We will then customize our horizontal grid from grids 1 to 4. Let us proceed to our vertical grids, which is from A to E. To see how the overall grid looks like, you can check the right side of the dialog box. Press OK. Upon finishing the setup and for it to be activated, we will hit the floor selector at the bottom. After doing so, the grid will then be shown on floor 1. And you can also check it by clicking this icon. We also have the capability to disable grid display. Again, follow active floor and to show the full grid. Please do note that all the files created within the same work set shall then have the same floor manager and grid system. The final step would be to reference our site. Let us choose C site for this project and click open. We will then follow the standard setting for the reference 
after which click OK. The site will then be shown. We hope you've enjoyed today's session. On your screen are some of the ways that you can get more information about Open Buildings Designer Connect Edition. Also, please don't forget to subscribe and like our page. Thank you.